Hey guys, what's up? This is Very Quick Man. How y'all doing? Today, totally different video. So I'm doing um, a 30-day challenge uh, where as a complete noob, I'm playing a match a day. I'm looking for five mistakes and uh, slowing it down, trying to figure out why I died, what I did wrong, and how I can learn from it. So part of this 30-day challenge is that I'm trying to gather data over those 30 days and see how I improve. Basically, is this process helping me become a better player? And so one of the things I love about um, Valorant is this post-match data that they give you. And it is, I think it's limited to 10 of your, of your most recent matches. But you can go in here and there's all sorts of good stuff. Um, yeah, there's a summary of screen showing basically how the match went and some of your personal metrics. There's a scoreboard, which, I mean, that's just a classic, isn't it? That takes you back to sort of Counter-Strike 1.6 even. I think it's been around since then. Real classic. Um, the timeline, pretty wild how much data is in here, um, including actually all your team data. I'd love to, to get get some of this out and do a, and do a spreadsheet. And then, um, uh, yeah, performance, how you do against each of your opponents. So a lot there. I'm focusing mainly on the scoreboard. Um, it's just kind of the you know the most straightforward uh, data that you can you can look at and kind of plot as a as a metric for how you're doing. So I'm actually going to exit game. Basically, the idea here is is that previously I was entering all this data um, manually into a spreadsheet, but now I'm using Google's Cloud Vision API, which is a machine learning um, API that Google provides that you can you can upload this image and basically have it send you back the text from it. And then you can, you know, rearrange that however you like and, and plot it however you want. So I'm going to actually exit game now. So what I'm doing is, is after every match, I'm, um, I'm taking a screen screenshot. All right, so it goes up. I do Windows uh, print screen. It just goes straight to your screenshot folder. And then I'm just popping them into a Valorant uh, directory here. And, uh, yeah, so I take that data or those screenshots and literally send those to Google. And Google sends me the text back. So you can see here, um, Google has this really cool uh, sort of try me um, web page where you can upload an image like I did here. So I, I uploaded an image of the screen and it sends you back all these different properties, all these attributes that it, it returns, including all the text. So you can see there's some issues. There's a couple of values here it doesn't find. It also takes the question mark in your, in your rank. If you, if you are an unknown rank, it'll find that question mark and try and send that back as text. So there's a few little issues, but basically it sends back this really nice uh, text list. So uh, yeah, so I wrote a quick Python script, which uh, you can see here. Basically just defining a, a pandas data frame and uh, uh, doing some manipulation, uh, well, sending, sending it up to Google first, uh, getting the data back, uh, assigning, you know, what player am I interested in extracting data from, and, uh, and cleaning it up, uh, and exporting it basically as a clean data frame. So the the endpoint of this Python uh, uh, script is basically to return these two CSVs. That's a comma separated value, basically just a spreadsheet, right? So it, it exports as as a a raw data frame and a, a clean uh, data frame to these two files. So you can see that here in this uh, Python virtual environment. I'm actually going to delete these and just run that real quick. So again, I'm, I'm just on my command line here in Windows in this Valorant Vision virtual environment. And uh, I'm going to run the Valorant Vision Python script that I have. And it should actually start generating these CSVs. So I'm going to close this. And there you can see it's starting to come in now. And so this is real time. Basically, I'm sending an image to Google. Google is um, analyzing it with their machine learning um, algorithm and, and you know, on their hardware, which is pretty cool, and then sending it back to me as uh, this data structure. Uh, and then I'm sorting that data structure into this clean data. Now, you can also see the raw data that I get back here and obviously not formatted very well. So that's really the bulk of what I'm doing you know, Google's doing the heavy lifting here, and I'm really just trying to figure a way to clumsily get this into something that's a little more legible. And so that's what this uh, this clean CSV is. Now, as I mentioned, uh, I was, at the beginning of this 30-day challenge, I was just entering the data manually. So here you can see basically the same thing, but there's a couple weeks, maybe two weeks or so, um, of data before I started doing this. I also, there's there's one column that I haven't figured out how to automate yet, and might require a second screenshot, which is why I haven't done it yet, but um, 
and that's basically the agent that you're using. I think that's kind of an interesting column to look at for data analysis. So I, I've been adding that manually. Um, so I have all my data here saved as all data. And uh, I'm actually just going to copy that over to the, uh, the clean, which is the, this is basically what I got back from Google. And I'm just going to put in all my data, save that. So that's, that's here now in this directory. I also have a quick little script called uh, Valorant Plotter. Oops, didn't mean to run that. That actually won't work if you just click it in your, um, you know, in your Explorer directory. It needs to be through the, vir through the virtual environment because that's where all the, uh, the libraries and packages are. Um, so, yeah, let me, I guess I can open this with Adam real quick. But this is basically just, uh, yeah, using matplotlib, uh, seaborn, and uh, pandas um, to plot out some data. So let's have a look at it. So I'm going to go back to my command line here and do uh, valorantplotter.py. And here we go. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Woo wee! I mean, it's, ver it's, 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 a, it's a line and it's slightly upward trending, right? I can't ask for more than that. I would be so gutted if it was a negative slope. But so this is a, a linear regression model. So you can see the, the, the bounds here are basically the 95% confidence interval. And you can see, you know, it's, well, it's interpreting it as a, as a linear line. That's a positive slope. So I'm pretty happy with that, right? So it means, so we're looking here at the y-axis is the average combat score, which is, this is a, a, a Valorant um, metric, specific metric. It basically is looking at how much damage you do how many kills you get, how many multi-kills you get. So it's very much just like how well you're fighting the other team on a combat level. And then the x-axis here is every game I've played. So I've played, I think, uh, 23 games, it looks like. And uh, yeah, you can see I'm getting better, I think, over time. There's a few pretty pretty bad outliers down here and a couple good outliers. Um, I imagine this will plateau at some point, right? This can't go to infinity. So, ooh, you know, I hope it keeps going up throughout these 30 days, but... I find this very satisfying, so I'm happy with this. But I've, I've, I've looked at a few other things, too. Oh, yeah, so this is a good one. One of them is looking at the different maps. And, man, Haven, I loathe Haven. Like, it gives me sweaty palms. I don't play well on it. And now I feel, like, traumatized by it. And here's why. So you can see the, uh, the uh, orange marker here is uh, victory, and the blue is defeat. So four out of five matches I've had on Haven, I've lost. Not only that, like look at my, my kill death ratio here on the y axis. It's all below one, so I've died well more than I've killed on Haven. Compared to bind and uh, split, like, you know, you can see why. You can see why uh, Haven upsets me. I am curious, like, what happened in this match that we won? Was I just carried, or maybe I did something better? Maybe I played a different agent? I don't know. Kind of a fun one. Speaking of agents, right, which agent am I playing best with? I like this one a lot. So, yeah, on the x-axis here, you can see data points from Sage, Rays, Breach, and Brimstone. Mostly, I play Sage. When I'm playing with friends, I tend to play Sage. And if I'm playing um, single queue and no one wants to play her, then I play her. If someone else wants to play her, I'm super happy about that, and I'd rather explore some of the other um, agents. But you can see my, my win-loss is pretty decent on Sage, and I got some, I got some decent kills up there. Um, Brimstone, though. Brimstone, I'm... I'm, I'm four out of five winning with lots of high kills and I enjoy brimstone so maybe I should be playing more of that but breach on the other hand that's an embarrassment huh like just two losses low kills not very good breach is cool but yeah I'm not very good anyways so yeah that's that oh and here's a fun one so for anyone who doesn't know these are violin plots which are basically just box plots where this curve here represents the probability distribution function. So basically how, what the frequency of your data is along this box plot. And of course you've got your, um, your mean and your quartiles there, like a traditional box. And this plot is looking at how many games I've played previously versus my average combat score. And so uh, sometimes my partner is uh, busting my balls a bit. She's like, you know, you've been playing these games for quite some time. Now I've got some data where I can say, hey, you know, I got to play at least two games because second game, my average combat score is considerably higher than my first. And then, um, yeah, well, it might plateau a bit after that. So maybe there's a counterpoint there that uh, at some point I would imagine if you kept playing, you know, more than three games in a row, four or five games in a row, I imagine this will start to deteriorate. 
and you'll get exhausted, right? And you'll you'll start playing worse and worse. But kind of interesting. You can I think you can see a pretty clear jump there. It's not a huge data set, but a fun plot, anyways. Oh, and he was just a he was just a silly one. Um, so you can take the date and extract from that the day of the week. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you think you play better on one day than another. Maybe you want to do team practice on Fridays. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't expect there to be any real trend here. However, Taco Tuesday, nothing but wins. Not bad, huh? Okay. And yeah, here, here's a, I think this is the last one. This is basically looking at how do I play um, when I play as a party and when I play with my friends versus playing in solo queue. And uh, no surprise there, right? You get a better win to loss ratio and uh, what looks like a better KD ratio or higher average KD ratio when you're playing as a party. Huh? Isn't that, isn't that nice? Um, yeah, well, that's it. Um, thanks for watching and take it easy. See you tomorrow for day 14 of my death challenge. Ciao for now.